Ariel Helwani in Mexico City for UFC 188 alongside Eddie Alvarez, who meets Gilbert Melendez this Saturday live on pay-per-view. Eddie, I'm so excited for this one. I think everyone is. This is this is for La Raza. This is for the people. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We've been talking about this one for five years. Remember way back when you called into my show to get Scott Coger to agree to put this fight together? Yeah. This is legitimately five years in the making. How does it feel to know that we are just two days away now? We had to get Coker out of the way in order for this fight to happen. That's what we had to do. That's right. And maybe uh, another guy as well. And another guy as well, yeah. So um, what better time than now, man? We're, we're both, we're both at, at, at the heights of our career um, in the UFC. The most eyes ever are going to watch this fight. I mean, if we, if we did it years before, I don't think as many people would have watched it. I think this is the right time to do it. And um, I'm just I'm full, I'm full of excitement this week because... We see all the time, you know, even myself, where we sign a bad agreement and then things don't work out and we're not able to fight the fight we wanted. So just for the stars to align, Gilbert to show up, me to show up, and, and, and everything happened the way it's supposed to happen, I'm overjoyed. How do you feel about Gilbert? Because he was the one that kind of picked this fight, right? He's the one that called you out first. Is that not accurate? And then you, and then you have said recently like, he's kind of the, the cheerleader who, who jumps on the, the quarterback bandwagon. Do, do, do you legitimately dislike this human being? Le I wouldn't say legitimately dislike because I don't know him. I don't, I, he has, he's, a, he's a guy like I am with kids and, and, and a business and does what he does. I don't, I don't know him. So for me, it would be ignorant for me to say I don't like him. I don't like the things he said. Um, I don't like the fact that he offered me out a number of times when, when we knew the fight couldn't happen. Um, some of the things he did, I just I, I didn't I didn't agree with. Uh, him himself, I don't know who he is. I don't I don't care for him. I don't I don't. He's just another opponent to me. But uh, you know, for sure, his curiosity of wanting to see how he do against me, it's gonna bite him Saturday. And 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 I'm and I, I've I've emptied my training the last three months. I let my fa I left my family and did all the proper things in order to make him pay, forever being curious about um, fighting me. How difficult was that for you? Because I know you're very close with your family. You have uh, four kids now, I believe. I mean, to be alone, I think you have a roommate in Florida. It's it's much a different Eddie Alvarez situation than maybe a couple of years ago when you brought the family down from Philadelphia to Florida. Now you're completely on your own. How was that for you? Yeah, it was uh, it was tough. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I I live on a cot in in a side room somewhere. Wow. Uh, you know, at home I got my own bed. You know, I, got, I have all the luxuries of life. But in Boca Raton, I live on a cot. The other four guys in the house have a room. Um, I'm just sort of, I live two or three minutes from the gym and just been purely focusing on training, sleeping, and eating, and um, just doing the best I can to be prepare for this fight that's ahead of me. And uh, that's what we did, and it's going to show on Saturday. You know, last time we saw you was in September. Of course, you were supposed to fight in January. You had to withdraw, and it kind of feels like you've flown under the radar. We haven't seen much from you. You haven't done many interviews. We haven't seen you, your face. You haven't been at events and things like that. Is there a particular reason for that? Yeah, I, and I haven't, and I, and I you know, I, I don't want to apologize. I have nothing to apologize about, but um, I, I, had a, um, I had a mishap with my daughter uh, before the Ben Henderson fight. I had a newborn baby. And she got sick, and we didn't know what was going on. There was a lot of ifs and, and a lot of... Uh, I, it just needed to be a time for, for me to put fighting aside and concentrate on my family. So that's what I had to do. And um, if I hope any of the fans or anybody didn't take it personal, I wasn't, it wasn't to be taken personal. It was just something I had to do in my life to, to you know, just concentrate on my family. Now my daughter's okay. She's doing better. She's doing better. Uh, she had something called hypopituitarism. She takes shots of growth hormone now. And uh, she's thriving, she's doing better, and everything's going well. So uh, now I can concentrate on fighting and get better and um, just purely focus on fighting. And, I, and I, to be honest with the fans and myself, I, I wasn't doing that going into the Ben Henderson uh, fight. And I, I, was, I, I was ripping myself off and I was ripping a lot of people off. So I didn't feel it was right to, to, to follow through. If you don't mind me asking, will she have to take those shots for the rest of her life or just now? Yeah, she'll take them, I believe, still in her 20s or something like that. I, I believe, unless they come out with something that is able to stimulate that part of that gland and, and make her start producing growth hormone, then she'll have to take shots. Does that change the way you, you enter this fight? Are you a different man than the one we saw back in September? I, I'm, I'm, I'm a different man before every fight, but when I leave my family more than anything, 
makes me mean, makes me angry, makes me bitter. And more than anything, it makes me know that I deserve the win. And so when I go into this fight just knowing that I deserve the win and I did more than my opponent, that's all, that's all I need to know. Do you, feel, do you feel like people have forgotten about you a little bit? Like you're not talked about as one of the best as opposed to going into that Cerrone fight? Yeah, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I, I know what I'm capable of, and uh, people are easily swayed. Easily swayed. After what I do on Saturday, they'll change their mind. If their mind's negative about me on Saturday, it'll be positive. If I happen to lose again, it'll be negative again. I, I really, there's nothing I can do about that. I, my feelings don't change. What concerns you most about him? Uh, about Gilbert. I, 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 I'm not concerned. Um, everything I was concerned about, I settled in training. Uh, any of his, any of things that he did well, We've, we've done a hell of a job during training to shut down and make sure that we're able to exploit any of his weaknesses come Saturday. Final question. Is the underground king title at stake here? Is that what we're fighting for? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can say that. You know, he, it kind of feels that way, right? He, he's claimed to be that. I've claimed to be that. So, you know, Saturday, uh, I'm going to make sure I take that title home with me and uh, back to Philadelphia. Awesome. Well, great to see you back. Best of luck in the fight, and thank you for the time. Thank you.